This is a 1916 uh, 66-1 in a treadle, and this is an oil painting on fabric. Um, it's a portrait. It's just loosely roughed in, and I've done it on uh, cross-stitch fabric so that if I want to, I can go further with this two ways. I can either paint it further and just have it on fabric, and then um, because it's oil paint, it will have a permanent finish, or I can cross stitch it. I left it um, fairly, um, well, not thick. It's more of a sketch than anything else. But what I'm doing now is using the treadle to quilt the main outlines of the face. I've already gone around um, the main shape, and now I'll just show you I'm going to go around the bottom of the chin and back up to above the ear. And then um, at some point I'm also going to go around the nose, around the eyes, and just under the eyebrows. And what this does is, um, I'll also do around the mouth. This makes it a quilted portrait in oil. Um, it's cross-stitch fabric that's 12 by 18, I think, backed with a um, piece backing and this is in a treadle. The machine is in a treadle. It's very easy to do this. Now what you have to be careful of is that the fabric does not bunch up and make wrinkles unless you want wrinkles in the portrait. Um, now you may hear a little slippage in the belt. That's because this uh, treadle usually has a 1588 in it. And because there's no um, back check or reverse, I'm just going to go around like this. You can go back over it again. I'm using um, polyester batting and cotton fabrics on the backing. Very easy to take a portrait. You could. Um, I may even do this. I have another one done. Um, this is my son. I've got my uh, former husband done. Um, I can make consistent size quilt squares um, by doing their portraits all on 12 by 18 cross stitch fabric. I'm going to go around the edge and kind of make it a rag quilt square and then to make a quilt all I'd have to do is um, connect them. Um, probably 3 by 4. So I could have 12 family members in a quilt. And a quilt like this obviously is an art quilt that I would more than likely hang on the wall. But um, it's kind of like a curio cabinet for your family. Um, a quilt that you can make very easily. And um, there are many ways to transfer photos. You could do it that way as well. And then use fabric and do applique. Um, or you could do as I did and paint in oil or acrylic.